Phil, let's start with uh, with you and uh, chat a little bit about uh, what's happening with uh, rugby here in Wales, the uh, national sport. Well, let me give you a bit of background first of all, Dennis. Sure. Wales is a very small country, 3.1 million people, and rugby is like a sort of national religion. For years and years, uh, Wales has beaten bigger nations and through the 60s and 70s crushed England successively year after year. It's one of the most important teams in the Northern Hemisphere, in uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, one of the most important teams. And but based so the, the governing body, the Welsh Rugby Union or WRU, is a has a sort of godlike status, Dennis. But it's basically incredibly mismanaged. There are two huge rows going on. One with the professional clubs none of the regions and one with the ordinary smaller clubs and uh, because of the restructuring that, that they're talking about and uh, there's a huge row going on and there's another row going on because they are uh, the chairman of the WIU has, has got to stand down they're electing another guy who may be a bloke called Gareth Davis possibly who's a new broom will sweep the Orgian stables clean uh, but basically, it's a huge, uh, it's an unbelievable row. And every time I do a story on rugby or the WRU, it gets retweeted loads of times. <laughs> well, you know, it's almost a, it's just, you, you, you were right when you said it's almost a religion. I can remember I used to play golf over at the, the Vale Golf Club, and that's where they, their huge practice facilities are. And, uh, you know, it was this temple, both an inside and outdoor temple to, <laughs> to the game. And you, you can literally test the, the mood of the country on how well the national side does. If they have lost the weekend before, the entire nation is in the doldrums. That's right. It's in a huge <laughs> funk. If they win, it's, well, you know, not so bad. We're doing okay. That's about, that's about the extent of it. It's unbelievable. It's extraordinary. And, and, and people really, really care passionately. I mean, I... I'm not really a rugby man. I see a bit of it. I quite like it. I uh, see a bit of football, you know, a bit of sport. But people really care passionately. And is it the same down with you, Dario, in the in the Cornwall? Yeah, I think that the. I mean, the, the, they're they're pretty passionate about the Cornish Pirates down down here. Like I say, I'm not a big rugby person myself, so you know, I couldn't I wouldn't know the in, ins and outs of, ins and outs of it. However. I mean, it's interesting to me, to me in terms of sports administration. Is there a, a well-functioning sports governing body anywhere in the world? <laughs> you know, I mean, can, can yeah. any of us name one? I well, mean, I mean, yeah. Look at look at FIFA, absolutely. for example. I mean, FIFA. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, 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 and to be honest, if you if you if you really want to look at what's happening in in America with the National Football League and the sexual abuse and rape scandals and everything yeah, that's been going yeah. on there, so I, a point well taken, Dario. Point well taken. <laughs> so, what's the solution for Wales? Is there one? I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean. Basically, they need the whole place shaken up as far yeah. as the uh, uh, clubs are concerned. You know, there's a new guy going in. There are other people going in who may be the WRU's place people. I don't know. But the, the whole thing needs to be reorganized and needs to be shaken up because you can't have, you can't have this situation where the governing <laughs> body is all over the place on this of a, a, a big sport. And the other thing is the ticket prices. I mean... You're talking about 60, 70 quid to see a match. Which is about 100 you US know, dollars. That's a lot of a money. a lot of money. Yeah. And, you know, for a guy coming down from North Wales or a woman, you know, spending a night in a hotel, seeing a match, yeah. having a meal, you know, it's a lot of money. Well, they certainly are passionate about it.